On May 13, 1985, the Philadelphia police bombed 61 homes of black people, disregarding governmental laws, resulting in the deaths of black children and leaving over 250 people homeless. Yet, this was just one fragment of a much larger narrative, a narrative of white people committing atrocities against African Americans like it was a game with no rules. They smiled while burning black individuals alive, proudly posed for photographs while lynching them from trees, and even poured acid into swimming pools to prevent black individuals from daring to swim in a white man's land. Shockingly, these haunting truths were hidden from the public eye for centuries to maintain white supremacy. A recent example of this suppression was witnessed when Florida Governor Rhonda Sons removed the Black Lives Matter topic from 60 schools. But not anymore. In this video, I will shed light on some of the heinous incidents perpetrated by white people against African Americans so that the world finally understands why history matters. After the American Civil War in 1865, black men finally liberated themselves from slavery and were granted the opportunity to live like any other citizen. Supported by the 18th President of the United States, Ulysses S. Grant, who ensured black men's voting rights through the 15th Amendment of the Constitution. However, Grant failed to anticipate the resistance from millions of white men, including Confederate soldiers and members of the Ku Klux Klan, a white supremacist terrorist organization with over 5 million members. The Louisiana election of 1872 saw the white community fearing an attack from black people after they won the majority. However, no one anticipated that this internal racial conflict would result in one of the worst crimes in history. On April 13, 1873, over 300 armed white men brutally attacked black people in Colfax, Louisiana. The massacre was horrifying with survivors too terrified to recount the events fully. It was later revealed that the death toll was much higher than initially reported, with bodies found in mass graves and rivers. During World War I, a shortage of labor in major cities created job opportunities for black people who migrated from the southern United States to the north for better employment and education. However, their hopes were shattered when, on May 28, 1917, around 3,000 white men attacked black residents of East St. Louis, resulting in numerous deaths and extensive property damage. The police stood by, allowing the violence to unfold. The atrocities against African Americans did not end there. On May 31, 1921, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a black shoe shiner named Dick Rowland was accused of assaulting a white woman. The false accusation led to a violent confrontation between armed black and white groups, resulting in widespread destruction and loss of life in the black community of Greenwood. These incidents, among many others, serve as stark reminders of the systemic racism and violence faced by African Americans throughout history. It's essential to confront and acknowledge these truths to move forward towards a more just and equitable society. In a shocking turn of events, an elderly white man approached one of the armed black men, demanding his pistol. Despite the sheriff's presence at a distance, he made no attempt to intervene, allowing the situation to escalate. Tragically, a gunshot rang out as the white man forcibly took the black man's gun, sparking chaos. This incident, part of a sinister plot to eradicate the black race, unleashed a massive white mob on the Greenwood district in Tulsa. Over 200 black people lost their lives, and more than 35 square blocks of the neighborhood, one of the wealthiest black communities, were razed to the ground. Martial law was eventually imposed, but not before around 10,000 black people were left homeless, $36 million worth of property destroyed, and over 800 people hospitalized. Shockingly, this massacre was deliberately erased from local, state, and national histories, with only limited footage surviving, such as the burning of a church captured by Fox News Group. On May 13, 1985, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, over 500 police officers descended on the Cobbs Creek neighborhood to apprehend members of MOVE, a black liberation organization. MOVE, founded by John Africa, aimed to defend black rights and protested against various injustices, including animal cruelty and police brutality. However, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Gregory J. Sambor sought to eradicate MOVE. When MOVE members did not respond to eviction orders, Sambor authorized the use of force. A police helicopter dropped two bombs on MOVE's house, intending to create a hole for tear gas. Tragically, a gasoline power generator inside ignited a fire, engulfing the neighborhood. Firefighters were ordered to stand back, resulting in the deaths of six children and seven adult MOVE members, including John Africa. Despite investigations and legal proceedings holding authorities accountable for their actions, racial discrimination persists. Instances like the Tulsa Race Massacre and the MOVE bombing highlight the ongoing struggle against systemic racism and injustice. 
it's crucial to confront and address these atrocities to build a more equitable society. Share your thoughts on the evil discrimination against black people in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thank you for watching.